Hi, honey. I just want to make sure you have everything that you need for the trip. I'm at the mall buying a few things and then just wanted to see if you needed anything. No, I think I'm good. Okay, great. Even if you did forget something, we still have another week until we leave. I'm so excited. It'll be so fun to have everyone together in paradise. When was the last time we went to Mexico? Do you remember how fun it was staying at that resort and getting massages every day? This is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't sound super enthusiastic. No, everything is fine. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. It's just that I noticed that ever since we booked the trip, you haven't been super excited about it. I want you to be excited. It'll be us and a group of our six best friends going to Mexico together. You seemed excited when we were all talking about it, but I feel like you're less and less excited the closer the departure date becomes. I said everything is fine. I don't want to fight. I just want to know what's going on. I'm extremely excited about this trip, and I want to make sure that you're excited as well. I mean, it's been so long since we went on vacation, and everyone is so excited to let loose and relax for a week. What can be bad about that? I said leave it. Are you sure? It's really important to me that you're excited about this trip. Why? You mean besides all the money we put into the trip? I don't know, because you're my wife and I want you to be excited about the things I'm excited about? Besides, you love Mexico. You're the one who always said how much you wanted to go back. I mean, the last time we were there, you had a great time. I basically had to drag you back to the airport so we could go home. What happened to that kind of excitement? I don't know. Maybe I'm a different person. Maybe I know more things than I should know. What do you mean by that? It's nothing, really. Come on, it's telling me. Maybe I can help. Are you nervous? Did he get into a fight with one of your friends or something? If I know it's wrong, maybe I can be of some help. No, if you knew, you'd probably make it worse. Whoa, what? What's going on? Just quit hounding me already, or else I won't even go on the trip. Wait, do you not want to go on the trip? Why didn't you say anything? It's too late to cancel everything. I mean, we're a week away from when we're supposed to board the plane. You should have told me if you were having second thoughts. What's it matter to you? Even if I asked you to stay, would you? Or would you be too compelled to go to Mexico without me? Compelled? What the hell does that mean? I love Mexico as much as the next guy. But if it meant that I had to leave you behind, maybe I wouldn't go. Well then, don't go. What? Why not? We've been planning this with our friends for ages. And now that it's finally here, you want me to stay? It doesn't make sense. Well, if you're so keen to go, then just go. Leave behind your wife. I bet that's what you really want to do, isn't it? Okay, I'm getting really tired of all of this reading around the bush. Can you just tell me what's wrong? Why don't you tell me how you feel about Stephanie? Stephanie? Do you mean Brad's wife? What does she have to do with anything? Why don't you tell me? Okay, what are you getting at? Are you jealous or something? Because if you are, there really isn't anything to be jealous about. I'm not attracted to Stephanie in any way, shape, or form. I can't believe that you would even say that to me. You're my wife. I love you. Well then, why did you hold her hand at our friend's engagement party? Hold her hand? When did I do that? Near the fountain, in front of everyone. Don't think that I didn't see you. You mean when she almost fell into the fountain because her heel broke? I was stopping her from falling in and then stabilizing her. She twisted her ankle. Well, I just don't see why you had to hold her hand like that. If you wanted to stop her from falling in, then you could have told her husband or something. So let me get this straight. You think that I could have, in the time that it took for Stephanie to fall into the fountain, signaled to her husband across a party that his wife was falling in and for him to have enough time to come and stop her? You do know how insane life sounds, right? Ugh, whatever. If you're just going to belittle me and my feelings, then I don't want to talk about it. Why do you think I didn't speak about it before? You always say things like this. You always find out whenever I look at another woman, even if they're my cousin. Don't think that I don't remember how you were acting at my sister's wedding. 
I just don't see why you had to hug all of your female relatives. Okay, that's seriously messed up. Why would you get jealous about me hugging my female relative? Don't you get how weird that is? See, there you go, belittling my feelings yet again. I can't tell you anything. I'm not belittling your feelings. I'm trying to open your eyes to see that I could never look at another woman besides you. Then what were you talking to Stephanie about? Because if I remember correctly, we didn't start planning and booking the trip until after that engagement party. Does it matter? If you love me, it does matter. Of course I love you. Then prove it to me and stay home. Besides, it's our anniversary. Yeah, that was another reason why we booked this trip, remember? Ugh, whatever. Just never mind about it. Talk to me when you're in a better mood. Fine. Hey dude, is everything set for the trip? Stephanie and I just want to make sure everything's going according to plan. I'm trying to make it go according to plan. But of course Sarah is stirring up trouble. What do you mean? Well, she suddenly decided that she doesn't want to go on the trip. What? Do you think she knows? No, I think she's still in the dark about everything. But the reason she gave me? She's convinced that I have a thing for Stephanie. Haha, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's what I tried to tell her, but she wouldn't listen to me. I thought it was hard to talk to her six months ago. It's even more difficult to talk to her now. I don't know how our relationship deteriorated this quickly. But the minute that she thinks that I don't love her anymore or I'm in love with some other woman, she pushes me out and gets mean. I'm so sick of this cycle. Well, that's what the trip is for, isn't it? Yeah. I'm kind of questioning why we put so much time and effort into this. Because we figured we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Right, right. Besides, it's the right thing to do. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Everyone deserves to know what's going on and everyone deserves to go on vacation. I think we'll all need a vacation after everything is said and done. This was the only way that this was going to work though. I know, I know. But I was hoping that this would solve everything. Now I'm not so sure. Maybe I just want a vacation. If I think anyone here deserves a vacation, it seems. I mean, considering what you have to put up with, the fight, the nagging, and of course, yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm just so tired. I just want everything done and out in the open. Well, in order for that to happen, I think you need to convince her to come on the trip. It'll be good for her. It'll be good for everyone. We've all been friends for what, a decade? We can't let the group deteriorate. I just don't know what to do about Sarah. It seems like she's always picking fights these days. I can't even talk to her without her giving me a dirty look and then giving one syllable answer. Not to mention a lot of late nights waiting for her. Yeah, it's not a good situation for anyone. And all because of what? She's convinced that I have a thing for your wife? That's completely insane. I don't know where she got that idea from. Oh, actually I do. It's really funny. Well, it's not that funny considering that our relationship is definitely on the rocks because of it. Why? Where did she get that idea? Well, at the engagement party where Stephanie's heel broke and she was falling to the fountain? Oh my goodness, you can't be serious. Your wife is convinced that you're in love with Stephanie because you stopped her from falling into a fountain. After everything she told you at that engagement party? Yeah, I think it's some cosmic joke at this point. Well, I would say just continue trying to get her to come on the trip. Honestly, at this point... I just want to tell her outright and for everything to happen. I know, and everything will come together. You just gotta trust the process and try to convince Sarah to come on the trip. It'll be good for both of you. Yes, you're probably right. And how about Mark and Bianca? They're still on board with everything? Yep. Stephanie and I have been handling Mark and Bianca. Alex and Lana are good to go as well too. Okay, sounds good to me. I guess I'll see you at the airport. Yes, and please keep me updated on Sarah. You know that you're my best friend, and I care about you, and make sure that you're the happiest you can be. Yes, thank you. So can I expect you to be home tonight? What does that mean? What are you accusing me of? Nothing. I just wanted to know how many servings I should make for food. If you're not actually going to show up tonight, then I prefer not to waste food. Well, obviously I'm going to be home. I don't have any plans tonight, or business trips. Really? 
That's the first in like how many weeks? We usually disappear on Friday and I don't see you until Saturday or even Sunday. Why do you want to know? Because you're my wife. And it's part of being married for me to know where you are. I always tell you where I'm going. But are you telling the truth? Okay, seriously? You have no right to speak to me like that. You have no right to be suspicious of me. Not when I see the way you all go at other women, especially Stephanie. Can we just drop this whole Stephanie thing? Just trust me when I tell you I do not have a thing for Stephanie. I wouldn't cheat because I'm a good spouse. What? You're not calling me a good spouse or something? I'm the best wife you've got. You should really learn to appreciate and respect me more. I put up with so much when it comes to you, and it's honestly a miracle that I'm still around. What exactly is it that you're putting up with when it comes to me? Because for my side of things, all I see is a wife who disappears for days at a time and comes home smelling of cologne. Are you accusing me of infidelity? No, no I'm not. I'm just saying that you've been acting weird these last couple of months, and it's really amping up these last couple of weeks. So can I expect you to be home tonight? You know what? I was going to come home, but now with all this attitude you're giving me, I don't think I will be. Then where are we going? Shouldn't our relationship be built on trust or whatever? Yes. That doesn't mean you get to go off and do whatever without telling me first. I really think that in order for us to have the best time on vacation, we should really just talk to one another. I don't want to fight, especially in front of our friends. Well, you're still wanting to go on the trip? After everything I asked of you, maybe we wouldn't fight if you just listened to what I said and ask of you. It's just so weird that you want us to go on vacation to Mexico for our anniversary. What? What's so weird about that? Well, first of all, you want to bring along the woman I've been worried about you having an affair with. I already told you once. I do not have feelings whatsoever for Stephanie. That's a crazy thing to suspect me of, considering that Brad is one of my closest friends. Not to mention, I barely even speak to Stephanie. So, that doesn't mean that you're not texting her in secret, or speaking and meeting up with her in secret. Not only are you wanting to go on this vacation during our anniversary with Stephanie, but you're also wanting to hang out with all of our friends? What kind of a husband does that? Do you even care about my feelings at all? Yes, I do! Remember that when we first started planning this trip, you were totally on board. Heck, you even were the one to suggest Mexico and the resort that we stayed at last time. Well, that was before. Now I'm asking you to stay at home. And why? Lose out on all the money we put into the trip? We've paid thousands of dollars for this trip. We might as well go on vacation, and everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for you and for me. Trust me, you need to come on this trip, and everything will be resolved. What's meant to come out into the open will, and everything will be better off for it. Oh, is that cryptic messaging supposed to make me feel better? No, I just don't want to ruin anything. In my opinion, it's too late for that. You don't care about me at all. You flirt with so many other women. You call me ugly and fat, and you hate being in the same room with me. How else is a wife supposed to react to that? I thought you loved me. But all it took was one stupidly skinny blonde who also happens to like sports for you to suddenly start ignoring me. Just a minute, you don't love me anymore. I have come to terms with it, and so should you. And I'm better for it, honestly. You're not a good man. I thought you were. But the way that you treat me like trash just shows what a not great person you are. I don't treat you like trash. I've given you time and time again to come clean. And what the hell does that mean? You know why? I'm so tired of fighting with you. Just remember when everything's done that you're the one that treated me like trash. You're the one that doesn't appreciate me. And you're the one that tore our relationship apart with your jealousy. Oh, whatever, Mr. Perfect. Even if that were true, who are people going to believe? The husband or the wife? You can't be serious. Do you know how messed up that is? It's true, isn't it? All I have to say is that you were mean to me and cheated on me, and suddenly everyone in her life loses respect for you. Boom. I'm done. Just make sure to lock the door behind you whenever you get in. Hey, dude. I just want to make sure that these are all the papers that I should have with me. Is everything in the brown envelope all that you need? Yes. 
At least that's what the lawyers told me. Thank you again for carrying them. I honestly think at this point, Sarah is going to check my luggage to see if I have any love letters or something for Stephanie. That bad, huh? Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't even think we're going to be able to make it to vacation at this point. Just continue to hold out. I mean, we've planned this out so meticulously that there is undeniable proof of everything. This way, everyone will walk away better. Well, maybe not everyone. I know that this is better for everyone, but like I've said, she is not saying anything. She acts like she isn't doing the most suspicious things. Between being gone for days at a time and hiding her phone whenever I come around. What are you gonna do? Honestly, at this point, I feel like I should just come clean and tell her what this trip is actually about. About the surprise that we have after her and about everything we know. Then at least, maybe I can actually enjoy Mexico. But what if she denies everything? I mean, that's kind of why we came up with this whole elaborate plan. That was the only way we could control everything and make sure that we had concrete proof. Because otherwise, she's just going to make it seem like you did something wrong. Yeah, you don't have to remind me. She just told me that she has the power to say I was mean or cheating on her and everyone would lose respect for me. She's well aware of the power that she holds. Maybe there's another way we can do this. What do you mean? Well, what set her off in the first place? Me talking to Stephanie at the engagement party. Or more accurately, me holding Stephanie's hand so she didn't fall into the fountain after her heel broke. Why don't we recreate those circumstances, turn on her GPS, and then follow her wherever she goes afterward? Wow, yeah, that works too. How are we going to recreate those circumstances? I'll talk to Stephanie and we'll think of something. Okay, but it has to be something with everyone there. Maybe do a pre-vacation dinner or something. Perfect. Let's do this. That way we can deal with this now and then have a great vacation with all of our actual friends in Mexico afterward. Sounds great to me. How dare you? What? What happened? You know exactly what happened. You couldn't even keep your hands to yourself for one night in front of me, your wife. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't think I didn't notice the way you touched Stephanie's back. What? Where are you? You kind of disappeared in the middle of dinner. Everyone is leaving or has already left. I'm not going to tell you. I need some time away. I won't be home tonight, so don't wait up. What? Where are you going? It's none of your business. It wouldn't happen to be at Mark's apartment, would it? What? What do you mean? Of course not. Why would you even say that? Because that's where GPS is telling us you are. Not to mention, Bianca is currently looking at the doorbell cam. Saw you pull up to the driveway. What? I thought Bianca had it go do something. She was talking about it at the dinner. Yeah, she was. That thing she had to do? It was to help us get evidence. What? Evidence? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, you can drop the act. You can drop this whole argument about me going on vacation, and you can stop pretending that you're innocent. What do you think that I'm guilty of? Of wanting my husband to stay home from vacation because the person he's cheating on his wife, me, with, is also going? Because that's the only thing I'm guilty of. Oh, please. You can't go on that vacation with your friends. It's our anniversary. I've planned a surprise party for you on the trip. Huh? But it's clear that we were never ever going to make it to the trip, so I thought we might as well get it over and done with. Get what done with? I'm seriously confused. I'm not doing anything. We had this elaborate plan to catch you, but really, we didn't need to think about it too much. You're sloppy. Then why are you at Mark's place? Because I needed to talk to him. Talk to him? About what? Maybe we're planning a surprise for you. Yeah, we're planning a surprise for you. So, obviously I can't tell you, or else it won't be a surprise. Stop. This is painful for both of us. You're such a bad liar. I don't know what you're talking about. Doorbell cam. There is no doorbell cam. Mark would have known about it. Yeah, he would have, if he was on that put it up. But a couple of months ago, Bianca was getting suspicious that Mark was having an affair. What? That's awful. Not that I don't know what that feels like. No. You would know all about what that would feel like. 
So, you admit it. You are sleeping with Stephanie. You're in love with her. No, I'm not. You know what Stephanie and I were talking about at that engagement party? The one that set you off on this rampage about me being in love with her? She was letting me know that she had accidentally caught you and Mark together when she went to drop off a package for Bianca. She was telling me about your affair. What? She's obviously lying. The doorbell cam says otherwise. Okay, fine. Is that what you want to hear? That I've been cheating on you for months? Cause fine, I'll tell you. But you don't get to blame me. It's all your fault. What? How can you, cheating on me, be my fault? Well, you were always looking at other women, and so I thought I'd get back at you. What? Okay, first of all, I wasn't looking at other women. Ever. That was always your insecurity. Only knew that I would never look at another woman while being married. Second, if I were the type of person to look at other women while being married, you think going out and cheating on me with one of our married friends was equal payback? I knew you were cheating for months, but I could never understand why you did it. Now that I know, it'll be so much easier to divorce you. No! What? Don't leave me! It's already done. I have the paperwork for the divorce. I have the evidence that you cheated, and now you can't go around saying that I was the one cheating. I'm done. Goodbye, Sarah. We arrived at Mark's a couple of minutes later to find my wife and Mark still getting dressed. Bianca was furious and kicked out Mark, with our help of course. She had been suspicious for a while, but it wasn't until Stephanie saw them that she was able to confirm what she always suspected. After that, we made a plan to get evidence to justify why we did file for divorce from each of our spouses, which is why Bianca put in the doorbell cam. Although it was supposed to all happen in Mexico, I'm kind of glad that we did it here. Now we can go to Mexico and leave all of the drama behind us.